All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off, he has the ability to go in there and damage his opponent. He feels like the shackles have been taken off, so he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye. Left elbow, big knee, and when he grabs that Muay Thai clinch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hip back, he will shift you. Right. Kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit, and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetai-Pareo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Jan Blakowicz! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, this make it official. Up of strikers, any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? Chuck? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you can see in a ring tonight. You get to watch it inside of an octagon. How good is that right hand? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He loaded up there on that high kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clip. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, he comes nice through knee. with a big knee. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there and lands. 
over and over again. He has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Nice kick there by Blahovich. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wachowicz. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to make the as big as he has landed this far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, very nice leg kick there. High level stuff. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Just out of range with that left hook. Chalk in for position in the clinch. Both foot. Oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. He doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice strike. strike lands there. Oh, collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counter after blocking shots. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Trying to establish that jab. That knee might have landed there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Unable to land with that punch. How about that shin? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. There's no gives on that leg kick. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Real sneaky body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Powerful leg kick lands. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look to the head there by Poirot. victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.